Hello learners. Uh, do you know that verbs in English uh, are uh, multi parts and uh, uh, you can find uh, verbs composed of one word like uh, uh, play, study, read, sleep, dream, invest. And there are also verbs composed of uh, a word and with preposition like uh, look after, uh, care for, uh, look at. Uh, look into, enter into, uh, go out. And also there are verbs composed of three parts, uh, like uh, a word with two preposition, like uh, get on with, look for word to, uh, uh, catch up with, uh, stick up with, uh, look up to, and also there are verbs composed of uh, two words and a preposition uh, like uh, come into light and also verbs composed of uh, a verb and a word like go shopping, go swimming, uh, make uh, an appointment, make a suggestion, uh, do uh, work, uh, do a job, uh, do housework, like that. So these verbs are uh, um, or have the, the, these shapes without putting them in any uh, tense. So the meaning of the verb doesn't complete until all these parts uh, be kept together. And these verbs uh, uh, have uh, their meaning and still we don't uh, put them in any tense like simply present. Uh, simple past, present perfect, past perfect, present continuous, past continuous, or any uh, mother infinitive, okay? So you should know this fact about verbs uh, uh, before you uh, put them in any tense or you use them in any tense. Thank you and good luck.